In this video I'm going to introduce the TK Inter Canvas widget, what it's used for and how you can place one onto a window. At its simplest the Canvas widget allows for the drawing of shapes upon itself. It is useful for drawing graphs, it allows for the plotting of values and ultimately it can be used to implement custom widgets. That's widgets that you as a programmer can develop from scratch. Let's consider this computer program and this line is what we usually need to include when we're dealing with TK Inter. Moving on to this line you can see here we're creating an instance of a window that I'm giving the name my underscore window and on this line I'm creating a canvas, an instance of the canvas class that has the name my underscore canvas bound to it. This is the name of the class and if you look to the brackets you can see here we we have my underscore window showing us that the canvas is associated with the window that was created on this line. Here we can go on to see that the width is 200 and that the height is 200. Now these two mean that the canvas will be 200 pixels by 200 pixels. If we come to this line you can see that I'm invoking the grid method on my underscore canvas. The canvas will appear within the window it is associated with in row 0 and column 0 and of course we then have the usual main loop. If we see the runtime for this program, it can be observed here. There's the window, and if you look here, we have the canvas placed onto the window. Now, it's not obvious this is the canvas, but you'll have to take my word for it. It is the canvas placed upon the window, and this canvas is 200 pixels wide by a height of 200, and it occurs within the window. I've taken the program we've just considered and I've made a slight amendment and the amendment is shown on this line and you can see I've added another named argument background that's been assigned red. So the background of the canvas that we end up placing on the window will be the colour red and we can see that here. There's the window and there is the canvas placed within the window, placed on the window and its height and width are both 200. Now if I make this window bigger by dragging it we can see it will look like this and it's quite clear now that the canvas is in row 0, column 0 and this area here we can see is the rest of the window and this is a, a better view of the canvas because we can see it is clearly in row 0, column 0 Zero, and its width is 200 by 200 it's just that the window has now been dragged to a bigger size so when the window was first created with the canvas as shown here the window automatically sized to the size of the canvas whereas here I've just made the window bigger by dragging it at runtime now this program is almost identical to the one we've just observed. The difference however is if you look here I've changed the name of my canvas to my underscore canvas underscore one and I'm still creating here a canvas with a red background but you'll now see that the width has been changed to 100 and the height has been changed to 100. I'm also on this line creating another canvas named my underscore canvas underscore two that's a associated with my window that has a width and height of 100 but the background colour has been changed to orange. If we come onto these two lines you can see that what we're doing we're taking the first canvas invoking the grid method and putting the canvas at row 0 column 0 whereas with this line we're invoking the grid method but we're invoking it with respect to this canvas my underscore canvas underscore 2 and we're placing Placing it at row 0 column 1. So when the program executes we're going to see this. There is my underscore canvas underscore 1 which is in red and this here is my underscore canvas underscore 2 whose background colour has been set to orange in the code here. Now this one is clearly in row 0 column 0 and this one is in row 0 column 1. Now let's consider this computer program and you can look to these four lines and you should be able to see that we're creating 
four individual instances of the canvas class and they are named my underscore canvas one through to my underscore canvas four and if we look to the way in which we've set the parameters we can see here that they're all associated with my window that their width and the height is a hundred in each case whereas here we can see that if we look to the background color we can see that they've been set differently to red orange yellow and green now these four lines will position the individual instances of the canvas class according to what's defined in this grid method with the rows and columns as you can see here so if we look to the runtime what we're going to get it is this there's the red the orange the yellow and the green if we look at the red one we can see that that's at row zero column zero and if i just look at one of the others look at the green one we can see that's at row one and column one how do i know that's the green one well because it's my underscore canvas underscore four and we can see here on this line we created the instance of the canvas that had the background color of green now let's consider this here we can see i've got a window and within the window i've placed a canvas and here we've only got the one canvas now what we can do with a canvas is this we can produce shapes and write those shapes place those shapes draw those shapes onto the canvas for example we can put a rectangle on it we can put this shape we can put some text and we can put a straight line and you can see they're all different colors and they're all in different positions so we are able to choose the shape we wish to put on the canvas its position based on the x and y coordinates of the canvas and we can also change the color of the various things we draw onto the canvas now just to be clear the text is regarded as being drawn onto the canvas we can also say well what kinds of things can we put on a canvas well let's have a look at another example with appropriate drawing of shapes we can put a graph of some kind and here you can see we have a sales graph which is showing the various sales shown as a pie chart so we can see if we want to do things that represent data as a drawing as a graphic we can use the canvas widget so we place the canvas widget onto the window and then we draw the shapes onto the canvas now the next video is going to look at how we can draw lines create and place lines on a canvas where the canvas itself has been placed onto a window so we're going to look at how we can do this kind of thing here draw a line as you can see here check out the supporting website for these videos in addition why not follow me on twitter as i issue a tweet every time i upload a new video